There is two, and they're they're locked up. They're mating. You know what? It is spring, and things are starting to move. Why? Why is it doing this? Hey everyone, headed to a call in Scottsdale. A lady just called and she was walking through her garage and she heard a rattle and she looked under a table that she has in there and there was rattlesnake just coiled up under there. Uh, so I'm headed that way now. It is a beautiful 80 degree day today. It feels amazing out so I'm sure we'll get a few more calls. Hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Very rough oh yeah. So, I hope that he's still there. Okay. That glass part. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Was he big? Did you see him? Yeah. He was pretty big. Okay. Yeah, he was on that white blanket. Oh, he was. Okay. Uh, not on white blanket anymore. <laughs> but there's definitely lots of places he can be. So we'll see. They get him to rattle at us. D does that garage open? Oh, he's right there. Actually, don't open it. Yeah, come here real fast. <laughs> he's on the garage ledge. You see him? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think there's two. I think there's two. There's two? Oh. Yeah. He's doing his little head bob. Like he's like trying to entice the female. <laughs> How do you do this? <laughs> I mean, I like snakes. Oh. <laughs> Suckers. Dude, you're just gonna grab him? Yeah, there is, there is two, and they're, they're locked up. They're mating. They're mating? They're mating. Oh. That's cool. That's pretty that cool. cool. Yeah, it's real cool. Well, why in my garage, you guys? It's a nice spot. <laughs> Let's see if I can get both in one shot. Okay. Alright, sorry to disturb you, little ones. Let's just get out. Holy. You got both of them. You got both <laughs> And they're still locked up, still mating. That's so. crazy. <laughs> Holy. Okay. I'll come show you. Make sure no one else is over here while I'm over here. I hope they're, not. <laughs> they're probably not, but Were, was your garage door open like yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. So you might have had one in here, and then like the female, and the male might have just crawled in when you had that open. So kind of glad it made its way over here because I don't know if I would have walked over here. More scared of us than we are of them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You want to see them? Yeah. Oh, crazy. <laughs> they're beautiful, though. Yeah, they're really pretty. Oh my god, they're huge. <laughs> I'll put them in the same place so that they can get back to it. Yeah. Make their babies. Like, oh, he did. <laughs> he did. Make some babies. 
All right, well that was fun. A mating pair of rattlesnakes. Ugh, already, I didn't expect it, but I know it happens this time of year, so I should. It just, you know, you get called for one snake, you don't expect there to be two. Um, but they were locked up mating. I put them in the same pack right now so they can get back to it. Uh, they were both pretty fired up. I guess they didn't expect me to interrupt them. Um, my bad, but they'll, they'll hopefully get back to it and make some babies. That was fun. Hey everybody, Jeff here. I am headed out to Santan Valley right now to remove a rattlesnake from a home. Uh, I don't know too many details. Marissa just called me and said, hey, can you run it? Cause it's really far away from me. And I said, yes, absolutely. So I headed there now. Hello. Do you have the snake? Yeah, I'm in the Okay. It's over on the floor right now. Okay. Oh, okay. Little, little Western Diamondback. Uh, you know what? It is spring and things are starting to move a little bit. Uh, let me look. When I catch this guy, I can look around your yard if you want. Want to see him? He's <laughs> yeah, it looks like just a, a, a young male that's just trying to figure out the world now that it's warm again. I like the family around here. Um, you know, the, with that age, it's not likely. Uh, basically what's going on with rattlesnakes right now is, is like now that it's finally warm, they're just kind of like moving out of wherever they slept all winter. So there's a chance that maybe like in the winter it slept in that rock pile over here. And then it's finally kind of, it was kind of exploring today. Yeah, did it buzz at you or did you? Yeah. Yeah, good call. All right, off into the darkness we go. Oh, do you see that? Do you see that? There's a little fox following me around. Cool. <laughs> Scared me a little bit, but it, I literally turned around. Bet you anything. He, dude, he's still following me. What the heck, man? I don't want a snake to get eaten either. Let's see if I can get it on my phone because I know the GoPro is not going to see it. A little fox following me. Just on my iPhone. I mean, he's the size of a house cat, but for some reason, just having, just like looking back every two minutes and having it like behind you with its freaking uh, little eyes, something about that. For the sake of the rattlesnake, I gotta make sure I get him down a, a good hole. He's getting more bold. I think uh, for the sake of the rattlesnake, I should probably take it somewhere else because if I don't find a good spot, yeah, you know, down, down deep. Oh, there it is. Why are you the way that you are? Why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this, huh? Like, as much as I approach it, he like will stay at a fairly... Why, why is it doing this? What's your deal? Huh? What is your deal? Kit foxes like this will actually readily eat little rattlesnakes like this. 
Why is he running at me like this? <laughs> All right, well, it's time for me to just find a different spot, I guess, because I don't feel comfortable letting the snake go over here. Hey, you know that call you sent me on? Yeah. Dude, I went out to go release it, and there's this fox following me around, like, constantly. Are you, no way. Yeah, I have to, I had to go, like, I don't want it to dig up the rattlesnake, so I have to, I have to go find <laughs> another spot. He's following you? Yeah, like, like, a lot, too. Like, it, I'm, I'm walking, and I turn around, and there's eyeballs, and it kind of freaked me out, and then I'm like, okay, it's just a tiny little fox, like, the size of a cat. But then it was like a lot. Like I'd turn around and film it and talk and kind of yell at it and it'd run off. What? And I and what I turned weirdo. Yeah, I I turned around and he's like hauling over to me. It's like he wants to close the gap or something. What the heck? I wonder what he's doing. I don't know. He wants my rattlesnake. That's, that's awesome. That's pretty cool though. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for the call. I'll uh, I'll uh, let you have your night. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, bye. Okay. Well, round 2, I suppose. Uh, I'm a good, probably a couple miles from that fox. So if there's, if I just see a, a fox like that way, just like hauling, it's over. I'm gonna release it tomorrow. Hi, you don't know the lengths that I went for you. Finally. Anyway, that was a fun call. Uh, it went from really simple to like kind of complicated because that little fox. But uh, you know, that little rattlesnake, even though it was a youngster, it's doing exactly what the other rattlesnakes are doing out in the field. They're leaving the dens or starting to leave the dens and they're starting to explore. Males are looking for females and uh, battling other males for those females and that youngster there i do really think it was denning in that rock pile in the backyard and it just got caught in emergence so anyway tiny little rattlesnake tiny little fox that was complicating my evening <laughs> but it all worked out all right and i am going to bed